No, it really doesn't seem like it was 50 years ago. It's hard to believe that that much time has gone by and so much has happened in the sport, so much has happened in the automotive industry since then. But uh, that 1965 Ford was, uh, was a very special one. It dominated the, uh, the sport that year, but, uh, and we were able to pull off the championship in it. But it, it was a very, very special car. I think the balance on the car was uh, one thing that helped to make it a good race car. And of course, it was the first year that Ford put coil springs on the rear. Up until then, we had been using leaf springs because that's what was on the uh, cars when they came from the factory. And, and the rules in those days was that you had to run whatever the, came with the car from the factory. My favorite color has always been blue, so certainly there is significance as far as that is concerned. And uh, my wife, Martha, she has the most beautiful blue eyes that you'd ever see. And uh, I think that's one reason that I like the blue so well. But uh, the number 11, I sort of inherited it. And so I just kept the number on it. it and it was very easy uh, for me, at least from a cost standpoint, because we didn't have a lot of money back in those days. And we tried to cut cost every way we possibly could. So it was easy just to make two marks on there and you had an 11 out of it rather than have to design some numbers. So, so we kept it and, and uh, it, it became something very special to us. If we could find a road, if it was a state road or whatever it was, the name number 11, we would go out of the way to uh, on our journey to travel on that road if we were going to a racetrack somewhere. And we thought that would bring us good luck. Don't know if it ever did. We won some races as a result of it. Maybe we'd have won those races anyway. I don't know. But uh, anyway, it, it had a lot of significance and still does as far as I personally am concerned.